Hey, how's it going today? Uh, I've got something here that I don't want to say I'm pretty excited about, but it's uh, something that I like. I, I feel that it's going to be a great aid, certainly in training and rigging scenarios that we do in arboriculture. Um, also to use as a kind of a, a guideline to get an idea of impact forces that you can create. Um, and certainly when we're talking about negative blocking, we do sometimes on some jobs come to where we just have to keep negative blocking things, but because of where the target is down below that we can't hit, we really have to lock up the load and having a really good baseline on those impact forces that we're creating or peak line tension is a good thing. Um, and part of the other reason is I field lots of phone calls from people who bought a brand new rigging line, whether it was from Samson, so we're talking Nystron or Stable Braid, or from Yale, or from Teufelberger, and like, yeah, I broke it. And I'll be like, wow, you know, that's pretty strange because those are, those are quality ropes. And as I ask the person questions and get them to reveal the size of the piece they took and how much rope was in the system, you know, they don't necessarily believe me when I say it, but it's very apparent that they fully exceeded the tensile strength of the rope with the energy that they created the way that they were rigging. And so the log impact force calculator is something designed to, uh, to help with that. And the reason I wanted something like this is I've had other dial type indicators where you put in some dope and you come out with your result is for, you know, like shooting and uh, other rigging rescue applications, you know, figuring out vector analysis and things of that nature. So I was able to team up with Samson and their engineering department did an excellent job. I mean, one of the great things about Samson Rope is they solve problems for a customer. And this was a, a something that I wanted to have a solution for. So we have the log, log in, impact force calculator and it's got two sides to it and it's, you know, comes in a sleeve with instructions. So the one side is basically a green weight log chart. So by inputting and dialing the length of the section you're removing and the average diameter of it, you can, you can figure out using the green weight uh, log densities, the estimated weight of that piece. And then on the other side of the wheel is after we've arrived at the value of the mass of that piece of wood we're getting ready to remove, now we can dial in and figure out with the amount of rope that we have in the system and it's all based on L, L2 over L1. So the length of rope from the block up to what we estimate as center mass of the piece of wood. And then L2 is the amount of rope in the system from the block to the lowering device. And it's all set up to go from half inch rope up to three quarter inch rope. And this is based upon testing in using nice drawn and stable braid from Samson Rope. So, you know, right off the bat is the first thing we'll do. We're going to say, that we have a, a 10 foot section of Douglas fir that's, you know, average diameter we're gonna say is 20 inches, all right? So we come here to the wheel. So we got diameter in inches down here and length in feet. So I'm right there at 10, I'm going for 20. So I'm just gonna move the wheel till 10 and 20 are lined up, okay? So now I'm gonna go down to my green log densities Find Douglas fir. So average according to the table from the park service is 39 pounds. So we're 39 pounds a cubic foot. I come up here to the top of the wheel and I can see my density. So it's going in increments of five. So I just gotta kind of guesstimate where that 39 is. So I'm gonna say 850. So 850 is what we're calculating for the mass of that piece of wood we're getting ready to negative block down onto our rigging system. So we flip our log impact force calculator over. And so on the top of the inner wheel, we have L2 over L1. So what L1 is, is the distance from the block to what we estimate to, the to be the center of mass on the log that we're removing. So for our purposes in this evolution, we're going to say that the center of mass in that 10 foot log is right at five feet. The block is hanging 12 inches, one foot below the cut. So we're going to say five feet plus that one foot. We're going to call L1 six feet, all right? We have 60, six zero feet of rope in the system from the high directional your, our, where our negative block is placed down to the porter rack. 
So this top dial where we get that value, that's L2 over L1. So we divide 60 by 6, we come up with 10. Pretty basic math there. So our value, L2 over 1, is 10. So we're just going to dial 10. You know, they go in 100 pound increments on the outer dial. So right in between 800, 900, 850 pounds. That was the what we estimated with our log calculator, the weight. We come down here, look at our peak line tension. We're using half inch stable braid. We're right there about, well, I'll say 4,400 pounds. So that's assuming that the only variable in the system is the rope. Nothing else is going to give. So we're not talking about time of year, species, lean, uh, green, dead, decay pockets, any other variables that will absorb energy. All right. So with half inch stable braid, with our log force, you know, impact calculator, we're right there at 4,400 pounds with half inch stable braid. Now the interesting thing is. If you go up to three quarter inch stable braid, well now we're around 6,100 pounds of force. And the, the reason I bring that up is selecting the right size rope and also the right, uh, not just construction, but composition of rope. Maybe we do want a nylon core rope, but going here at stable braid, 6,100 pounds of force to three quarter inch, well clearly as far as not putting, or putting as little force as we can on that high directional, because remember, we got two legs of rope in that system. If we had 4,400 pounds on one side, there's 4,400 pounds on the other side. That means that block is seeing 8,800 pounds of force, worst case scenario. So again, this is something to keep in mind. You can establish guidelines. If nothing else, being able to quickly do log weight calculations, which is vitally important when you're doing rigging evolutions, you want to have an idea of the forces that you're creating and also going and dialing in the dope on the impact force side will give you an idea of those forces you're creating and very possibly it might explain why that brand new half inch piece of stable braid that you had or that you know brand new half inch piece of you know nystron or that brand new half inch piece of double estrelon why it parted on that first time is because you were way past the safe zone so in the instructions green background means that we're below the working load limit of the rope that we're using, uh, whether it's stable braid or nystron. Yellow means that peak line tension is exceeding the working load limit. So that's where we're going to kind of really want to weigh our decision making process. If when you dial your, your indicator and you start to get in the red, well, obviously what I've dialed in there, 13,000 pounds, that's far past the tensile strength of half inch stable grade. So again, this is going to be a very helpful tool, both for training, uh, estimating log weights for sure, both, and also for crane evolutions, for doing balance picks and things of that nature. And then when you get down to those critical applications where you may have to arrest that load quickly, this is all, when we're negative blocking, the key thing that we have to do is let that load run. But we do run into situations where we have to lock up that load or arrest that load quickly. And having a tool like this will allow us to make the correct decisions in the size of the material that we're going to cut as well as the rope that we're using. The log impact force calculator available at Westbury Tree Equipment. Thank you so much, Ascension Group, Samson Rope Technologies, and Westbury.